Hello and welcome to my channel. So that first clip of me was really rough, but that was at 6 a.m. My sleep study had just ended maybe 10 minutes before. My lab technician, Aaron, who is amazing, came in and was like, okay, I'm gonna turn on the lights. You can use your phone and I'm gonna start removing everything slowly. So I was referred by my medical doctor to go and make sure um, I'm breathing as I sleep because I have really enlarged um, tonsils and as you get older they're supposed to shrink but mine never did and uh, my sleeping is all over the place I wake up multiple times there's just a lot of reasons but yes I was referred to do the sleep study and I did it Friday night today's Sunday guys so I went Friday night I had to be there 8 p.m. and then I left on yesterday morning so this is an email that i got to prepare me for the test okay so september 23rd 2020 at 8 p.m and the test ends saturday at 6 to 6 30. so these are some rules that you need to keep the day of your test no caffeine after 12 p.m no alcohol no napping no nail polish, like shellac, acrylic, um, no hair extensions. Uh, you have to bring your health card, list of medications, your pajamas, but no um, extra pillows and linens. Eat dinner before you come. Make sure your hair is washed. You can't have any product in it, any body lotion on. And yeah, leave all your valuables at home. So, you, you know, you're going to stay there overnight. You may bring items that you use for your bedtime routine, which I don't really, I guess like I just read my book prior to going to bed. Um, and then, okay, so while you sleep, a technologist monitors your brain waves, eye movements, heart rate, breathing pattern, blood oxygen level, body position, limb, limb movement, snoring, and other noises you make as you sleep. Okay, so I kind of tried to record a little bit, so let's see what I got for you guys. So as soon as I got to the building, it was completely dead. I had to wave security to let me in, and then I just waited in the lobby for somebody to come get me. My lab technician escorted me to my room. I was on the ninth bedroom. Look at the bed, you guys. The double. I had my own little sink. Like, this is not a bad setup at all. Um, there's the cameras up there, you know, they don't have Wi-Fi, just the other little rules that you might need to follow. So there was people in the rooms next to me, so I didn't want to be too loud. So I was kind of whispering here and I had a lot of paperwork to fill out. There was like a lot of repetitive questions. That's like the machine um, that I guess they were going to put on me. So yeah, I got there at 8 p.m. I had to kill time um, before bed. So I brought this book called Crazy Faith, 10 out of 10, must read. Okay, so as I mentioned, there was people on my right side, left side, and we shared the bathroom. So I didn't want to be too noisy. Like I had my earbuds in for music because I don't know what their sleep routine is. If they were going to bed at 8, 9, 10, and then 11 p.m. was like the latest you could go, which was the time that I went. So I could not put any product in my hair after my shower, so my hair just went crazy. So I kind of put it in a bun like this, or like something like that, right? Anyway, she came in because she has to measure my neck. So, because you were going to have this little thing here that monitors your breathing and stuff, and like if you're, I don't know what it was. But anyway, so she's like, okay, can you move your hair because I need to measure your neck. So I put it on a high bun like this, guys, right? And then after she measured my neck, she's like, okay, now I have to do your blood pressure um, and your height. <laughs> but then I had the giant bun on my head. So she said, okay, put your hair down. And then it was just wild. And she had to me tape measure my head. Anyway, she was so sweet. She was like the Spanish lady. So I feel like we kind of bonded a little bit. Um, she put my hair in a braid, which was super cute and nice. Um, what else happened? Okay, so yeah, so... I guess each technologist got like two people um, to monitor because you know they're watching you on the cameras, they're listening to you, they're looking at what you're doing because they had like it had glue. So she put two little things here, so it's like looking right, left. 
up and down. Um, here, if you're like grinding on your legs, if you're like kicking, uh, it was really interesting. So in order for the study to be accurate, you needed to have one hour of sleeping on your back and then you could move side to side as many times as you needed, but you at least needed to sleep for three hours so they could get all the information. So you guys, I wake up to go to the bathroom once an hour, but the first time I kind of waved at her, she came in, she had to unhook the thing, tuck it in, it was like a process. So I had to go again and I just held it in because I'm like, I don't wanna, she's so sweet. I don't want her to have to come back, you know, especially like she's watching other people. So yeah, that's what happened. And let's see what else I got for you guys. It's a shared bathroom, just me getting myself ready before bed. So yeah, um, she came on at 6 p.m. and was like, good morning, it's time to wake up. I'm gonna be in there shortly. She comes and then she's like, okay, be prepared. I'm gonna turn on the lights because it was pitch dark in there. So she turns on the light, the door is open and I guess like everyone else is like getting up to and using the restroom. So you can just see everyone like walking by and um, one of the guys that was next to me, like the room next to me, he's like, oh my gosh, I never slept so good. And it's like, how did you sleep so good with all these like wires? Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty funny, but because I, I had a hard time falling asleep. Um, I think it took me about two hours. I was like tossing and turning. Like I said, I had to get up one time to use the restroom. Um, but yeah, they got all the data and I'm going to hear from them in about three weeks and see what it says, which I'm kind of interested because while I was doing the study, I ended up getting um, something called sleep paralysis. So I wonder if like they were able to see that. So I am gonna get the results in about three weeks. If you guys are curious to find out, you know, what they say, make sure you drop a comment and I will definitely make that video. If you wanna see more of things that I have to do, make sure you like and subscribe.